गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू क्लास फाइव मैथमेटिक्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड आवर प्रीवियस सिलेबस सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज द चैप्टर बी माय मल्टीपल आई विल बी योर फैक्टर सो ऑल द टॉपिक्स व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वी हैव already discussed earlier so just some points sir as you know the chapter b my multiple i be your factor is completely related to terms one is multiple another one is factor so what is multiple multiple suppose i have number 6 you all have already done the table of 6 by multiplying any number by 6 suppose i am multiplying by 2 i will get 12 if i multiply by 3 18 if i multiply by 5 30 if i multiply by 7 42 now you can see this 12 18 30 42 all came by multiplying 6 by an integer that is all these 12 18 30 42 all these are multiples of 6 all these are multiples of 6 you have already done and what is factor factor is nothing but suppose i have a number 15 by which numbers we can divide 15 completely are the factors of 15 so what are the factors of 15 it can be 1 it can be 3 5 15 itself so 1 3 5 15 15 by all these numbers we can divide 15 completely that is if i divide 15 by 1 3 5 15 these numbers the remainder will be 0 that is 15 is completely divisible by 1 3 5 and 15 so these are the factors of 15 these are the factors of 15 suppose if i take the number 7 what are the factors of 7 factors of 7 you can see is only 1 and 7 if i take the number 13 what are the factors of 13 factors of 13 is 1 and 13 only there are no other factors of 13 except 1 and 13 so this type of numbers which is divisible by only one and itself these numbers are called what these numbers are called prime numbers these numbers are called prime numbers and suppose this type of number 15 which is divisible by one and itself and so many numbers this type of numbers are called what you have already done this type of numbers are called composite number this type of numbers are called composite number you have already done now regarding factors 
Suppose if I take the number 12, what are the factors of 12? The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. That is, 12 is a composite number because except 1 and 12, there are so many numbers by which you can divide 12. Now, the C. Except 2 and 3, all other numbers are composite number. We can't take 1 because 1 is neither a prime number nor a composite number. Why? What is the definition of prime number? The number which is divisible by 1 and itself. That are called prime number. 1 is only divisible by 1. Here 1 means also 1, itself is also 1. So we can't take 1 as a prime or composite number. So 1 is a neither prime nor composite. Now among the factors of 12, except 2 and 3, all other factors are composite numbers. So, these 2 and 3, these are called prime factors of 12. 2 and 3, these two numbers are called prime factors of 12. So, factors, prime factors. Next. Our next discussion is about common factor, is about common factor. What is common factor? If I take 12 and 15, what are the factors of 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. And what are the factors of 15? 1, 3, 5 and 15. Now you just see what are the common factors of 12 and 15. That is, among factors, what are common? 1 is common to all, both. 3 is common to both. Is there any other, num other numbers common? In the factors of 12 and 15? No. So, the common factors are 1 and 3. Common factors of 12 and 15 is are 1 and 3. Now, suppose if I take 9 and 7. What are the factors of 9? Factors of 9 are 1, 3, 9. And what are the factors of 7, 1 and 7? So, what are the common factors? of 9 and 7 only one is common you can see so common factors common factor of 9 and 7 is 1 that is only one is the common factor of 9 and 7 so 9 and 7 these two numbers are called co-prime numbers. 9 and 7, these two numbers are called co-prime numbers. So what is co-prime number? 
the numbers which do not have any other factors other than one are called co-prime numbers. Next, our topic is a twin prime number. Twin prime number. Can you tell me an example? First of all, what is twin prime number? Two consecutive prime numbers. whose difference is 2. Two consecutive prime numbers <coughs> whose difference is 2 are called twin prime numbers. Suppose 3 and 5. 3 and 5 both are prime numbers and not only prime numbers, they are consecutive prime numbers. After 3, 4, 5. So, these two prime numbers, what is the difference between them? 5 minus 3, that is 2. So, these two consecutive prime numbers has a difference 2. So, these two numbers are called twin prime numbers. Another example, 11, 13, also twin prime numbers. In this case, 11 and 13 both are prime numbers and their difference is 2. So, they are called twin prime numbers. Now next, the very important topic is the prime factorization. We can do it in two ways. One is by using factor tree and another one is repeated division method repeated division method so first our case is factor tree suppose I have a number 24. We have to factorize 24 using prime using factor 3. Factorize means prime factorize. Prime factorization of 24. What we have done earlier? In this case, suppose 24 we can take 24 as 4 and 6. 4 into 6, that is 24. Now you can see 4 and 6 both are composite number. So we have to again break them. So 4, we can write 2 into 2. And 6, we can write 2 and 3, 2 into 3. So, 24. Now you can see, you have to repeat this method until you get all the prime numbers. You can see here, these all are prime numbers. So, we can write 24 as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 
2 2 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8, 3 8 is a 24. So this is called factor 3. You have already done. And in the same fa factorization, we can do by repeated division method. So here it is suppose 24. Make mark here. Now, in this case, you have to divide the number by only prime number. First of all, we are dividing by 2. So, 12 to the 24. Again, 12 divisible by 2, 6. Again, divisible by 2, 3. Now, 3 is the prime number. So, 24 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. So, in both the case, result you got same. <coughs> So first one, this method is the factor tree and the next one is the repeated division method. Factor tree and repeated division method. So what we have done? First of all, just I am revising the, doing the revision of the chapter, as this chapter we have already done. So first of all, multiple, next, factor, next, common factor, next, prime factor, next, Prime number, composite number, next twin prime number, then co prime number, and at last prime factorization. And this is very important prime factorization. One is the factor tree method. Another one is the repeated division method. Now on basis on today's discussion, it is your homework you do in your classwork copy. Question number one, find all factors of 36. Number two, find common factors of 12 and 18. Three, find prime factors of 84. Four, find prime factorization of 30 using factor tree. Five, find prime factorization of 72 using repeated division method. Six, give any two examples of twin prime numbers. 7. Find prime factorization of 45 using factor tree method. 8. Factorize 112 by division method. 9. Is 9 and 15 co-prime? 10. Is 7 and 12 co-prime? So, do this in your classwork copy.